I am Talina Lachelle Queen. I am the founder and president of Word Seed Inc., a literary arts nonprofit organization. One of our favorite genres at the nonprofit is poetry. We've created the Patterson Poetry Festival and we love doing all things poetry. And as a poet laureate of this great city, Patterson, New Jersey, it is incredibly important to me that we find ways to bring poetry to the world. My name is Jonel Just. I'm a poet from Haiti. Uh, I'm living in Miami. My name is Megha Sood and I'm a poet, writer, editor and literary activist based in Jersey City, New Jersey. Nous pas souvent partager ça. Nous pas souvent publier ça, nous partager entre nous. Mais ça arrive deux fois déjà. Ces conversations moi gars avec pour peut-être moi moi partager yo côté gars monde gars possible côté monde gars possibilité pour yo lire à travers il suffit ton regard que me t'ai publié en 2018 et puis bout en bas qui c'est un autre livre en créole que me t'ai publié en 2020 My name is Crystal Davis also known as Crystal Letters I am a Jersey City based poet writer and artist Rusky Poetics here, coming to you from Jersey City, New Jersey. Je m'appelle Jean Rusty Delva. Je suis écrivain, poète, et je suis euh, tout honoré d'avoir la possibilité de m'exprimer dans le cadre de la Journée internationale de la poésie. For me, poetry is not only a method, a medium for the cathartic expression of myself but also to be a medium for unspoken and unheard. To me, poetry is just is, is not just an art. It's uh, To me, it's a way of living, a way of uh, perceiving and seeing things. I think that when you are a poet and you are living poetry, you, are, you, you write better poems because you are living it. Poetry is the ocean. For me, poetry is the space that I take a moment and take a moment to talk to my head. C'est espace côté que moi-même ak tête moi, nous gen toute liberté nous pou youn di lot, ça youn anvi di lot. Et si nous rive d'accord nan ça nous partager yo, les ça nous ka prendre décision pour nous publier yo et permettre que l'autre monde gen chance li tande conversation moi-même moi gen ak pou tête moi. Donc pour moi c'est ça. Poésie son démarche lyrique côté que m'a parler avec pou tête moi. Et l'on a parlé avec pop tête ou, pas de aucune possibilité pour bâiller tête ou menti. Donc pour moi, poésie c'est ça. Donc, l'aime publier un livre, c'est d'abord une conversation entre moi-même avec moi. Et puis, comme moi-même avec moi, nous devons entendre nou, que ça nous partage, nous correct, et nous décider pour nous publier, pour nous partager avec l'autre monde. Donc, pour moi, poésie c'est ça. C'est avant tout un espace intimité. Making those connections through word and performance and other poets. La poésie est pour moi un instrument de communication. Oui, c'est un instrument de communication parce que la poésie nous permet en tant que poète de communiquer le monde autrement. On va dire que le monde, tout le monde parle le, 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 le même langage, les mêmes paroles, tout le monde dit les mêmes choses, les mêmes mots, prononce les mêmes mots. Mais le poète, justement, il a cette responsabilité, il a cette mission de communiquer autrement. C'est-à-dire, si tout le monde dit la même chose, le poète, lui, il va parler différemment. Donc, la poésie nous permet de parler différemment, de dire le monde autrement. Et la poésie, pour moi, c'est un instrument, c'est un pont. Un pont qui nous permet, qui nous relie entre le réel et la beauté. C'est pourquoi je suis de cet avis selon lequel... Le poète, c'est un fabricant du beau. Donc oui, la poésie nous permet de fabriquer du beau. Le monde, ce n'est pas seulement de l'argent, le travail, le, les soucis du bas-ventre, mais c'est aussi le beau. Alors la poésie, c'est ça, c'est la beauté. What poetry means to me is more than just by means of storytelling and the ability to use writing to the best of my ability. Poetry has been able to help me express myself in ways that I wasn't able to when I was painting or creating some kind of artwork. And it's allowed me to really just vocalize 
what is going on in my head as a writer, but to use a shortened method of putting that down on the paper. Poetry started very late in my life when I started my WordPress blog like four and a half years ago. And when, when I wanted to generate the awareness and educate myself about the social issues which were around to me. And I think as a writer and a poet, it's a crucial responsibility of everyone to bring those issues and to bring the common people in their folds. My poetry journey started when I was maybe, I don't know, I want to say maybe four or five. I wrote a really small birthday card for my grandmother and I had, like, it might have been like a three, a three verse stanza for her and just telling her happy birthday and that I loved her and referencing things at the time that the child in me thought would have been cool as a poem. And I just never stopped. I've been writing ever since I was younger and I'm still writing today. And I started off writing short stories and fiction and later on um, through elementary school and in high school, I started picking up on free verse. And I found that there was, there was, a, ry there was a rhythm that I wasn't picking up on. And the more that I started to write, I could hear it. I could hear it in, I could hear the beats. I could hear hear it in the words that I was using. I can hear it in just all the little pieces of magic that were coming out. My love story with poetry began in Haiti, back in Haiti, when I was reading uh, my first poems. I think uh, once I, I, I discovered a book called uh, Parole, it was in French. Uh, it was from a poet, French poet Jacques Prévert. And uh, first, I, I didn't like poetry that much, and I, I wrote poetry like in school books. So, but the poetry you read in school books, you don't like them because you have to study them, and you have to study them, and you, 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 that, that's not something you like. And uh, but the, the first time I I, I, I read uh, Jacques Prévert, so I, I I see that poetry is something that you can enjoy that you can enjoy, that, that that can say very great things with simple words, and that can be playful and joyful. So that's, so that's it. I say, wow, I, 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 I want to write things like this. I want to write things like this. I want to, so that's when my love story with poetry and words uh, uh, began. And back in Haiti, I think it was in the 90s. And, uh, so since since then, I, I have written, I mean, hundreds of poems. I have published uh, uh, three, uh, three, po uh, three, uh, three books of poetry, and uh, uh, in Creole, French, and English, and and that's and and, and I'm, I'm going to continue to to publish books in in poetry. I first started creating poetry at five years old. And it has been a part of my life ever since. L'histoire avec poésie, l'ai commencé depuis l'école. Nous sommes j'aime d'avoir fait 6e secondaire, les moins fait connaissance avec poésie que les poésies, bon poésie depuis petit. N'a pas tant de poésie, n'a pas dit poésie l'école mais d'accadou poésie pour moi entrer dans littérature, me fait connaissance avec lui, l'ai monté dans 6e secondaire les ça, moi j'ai des professeurs qui commencé à parler de monde d'accou Georges Castra de Montacou, Félix Maurice au Leroy. Donc c'est principalement deux Montsayo qui l'ouvre porte pour moi pour me rentrer dans poésie. Et depuis Leroy, mon chita en dehors passe ça côté de temps en temps. On va même dire souvent, moi prend rendez-vous à tête moi pour parler à tête moi. I got my start in poetry at the age of nine, getting to know words and the linguistics and the magic that is poetry. But to be honest, I truly found my voice, my poetic voice, in Jersey City in 2006. Et mon histoire avec la poésie a commencé très tôt, très jeune. J'avais 16 ans quand je commençais à écrire et j'écrivais mon premier poème quand j'étais en classe de seconde. Et ce qui m'a inspiré à faire de la poésie, c'est un CD de Vendredi littéraire. Il y avait des poètes comme André Froide, Emily Prophète, Evelyn Trouillot, comme Georges Castra, et, et j'en passe, Faubert Bolivar. Donc c'est ce CD-là qui m'a influencé et qui m'a permis évidemment d'écrire mon premier poème. Mais j'ai écrit mon premier poème dans un contexte tout particulier, un contexte de bataille politique. 
Et c'est pourquoi je me revendique comme un poète engagé. In the celebration for the International Poetry Day, the message which I have for the fellow poets and writers across the globe is that they should use the beautiful craft of poetry to celebrate and spread the message of love, equality and res respect that we all truly deserve. Uh, for, for this International Day, of, uh, po this international Poetry Day, so what, what I would like to say to poets is that in this world we live in right now, it's like everything is dark, everything is ugly, everything. And I think we can give people hope with, with poetry, with our, with our words. We can give people, we can show people that there is something better than, 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 than what we are seeing right now. We can show beauty beyond, beyond uh, the ugliness, beyond war, and beyond everything that we are seeing. We can show that there is there is hope in that there is beauty. And so what I have to say to poets, young and old and all those in between, is that your voice matters, your poetry matters, and you are changing the world a little bit by a little bit each time you create something new for the world. So keep doing what you're doing. I think my special message to poets around the world would really just be write your piece. Write your piece publish your writing and practice as much as you can so that your work gets out there and people can hear it because you really never know who you're going to inspire. Et mon, mon message particulier à l'occasion de cette journée internationale de la poésie, donc c'est d'inviter le monde et à, à prendre un petit temps pour réfléchir, pour méditer et pour faire aussi de, pour faire un peu de poésie parce qu'aujourd'hui, Ce qui compte dans, dans ce monde-là, c'est le capital, c'est l'argent, c'est le travail, c'est les soucis du quotidien, c'est le bas-ventre, c'est le sexe, etc. Mais les choses de l'esprit sont de plus en plus marginalisées. Donc, j'invite à cette occasion donc, euh, euh, tout, euh, tout le monde, à, 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 à le monde entier, évidemment, à se, à, à, aussi à... À, à faire un peu de poésie, à donner une petite place euh, et dans, dans leur cœur pour la poésie, parce que la poésie nous permet de rêver et de rêver un autre monde. La poésie nous permet aussi de, de, de donner une petite place euh, et à ce qui est sensible en nous, à ce qui est beauté en nous, à ce qui est émerveillement en nous, à ce qui est soleil en nous, à ce qui est lune en nous, à ce qui est arc-en-ciel en nous. Donc voilà, donner une petite place à la poésie et ça, ça réveillera euh, l'humain, l'humanité, with all the things that are happening in the world, this world needs the voice of poets. Make sure that you're involved or create your own. You never know what connections you're going to make in the meantime, whether it's in your hometown or all around the world. Resistance. I don't wait for you to corroborate my truth, evidence to prove the finality of my desires. I don't wait for your soft touches to smooth my scars, a tourniquet to stop this bleeding. I don't want you to comfort me in the middle of the night only to unravel my pain in the morning. As my body goes from a shade darker than yesterday, I don't need the assurance of the revolution around the corner. I birth my own revolution and I create my own marches. The truth my soul owes to nobody but me. A conversation with my higher self, a divine evolution. When I resist, I create. Uh, I, want, I want your blue in my sky. I want your waves in my ocean. I want your noise in my silence. I want your summer in my winter. I want your sunrise in my horizon. I want your eyes in my eyes. I want your life in my life. Thank you. You cannot silence the ocean. You cannot silence the ocean. 
The waves are reborn again and again and again and again. The waves are dancers leaping toward the shore with splendor unmatched by any other body of water. Capable of both ballet and tsunami, the ocean knows the language of every tongue, but always says the same soul-soothing sound. She is a lullaby for angst and anger and anxiety. She inspires the constellations to stand sur le pont. Every ocean lover knows that the ocean in all of her vastness and width and depth can never be totally understood. Knows that she is both capable of crushing the multitude and being a dwelling place for those who need her. The ocean is created for a divine purpose, a purpose with a diversity of repertoire, one that shifts with the phases of the moon, is obedient and on course toward her destiny. Poetry is the ocean. Every poetry lover knows that in all of her vastness of creativity, width on the scale of emotional expression, depth and diversity in her repertoire, that above all, she is on course toward her destiny. You cannot silence the ocean. The waves are reborn again and again and again. Il suffit ton regard. Au pas des portes qui s'ouvrent à toi, chaque fleur est une promesse sur toi. Demain, tu en auras assez pour rendre à ta fin sa beauté. Partout les portes s'ouvrent à toi pour partager la solitude de toutes les moissons estropiées. Demain, tu prendras tes silences aux mots pour rendre à tes cris leur écho. Par tes armes ou par ton âme, à demain, redessine ton demain. People call me a dreamer. Let them see what my dreams bring. A blueprint of the future not stamped by society's approval, a rule-breaking, earth-shaking, far-reaching arrangement that will be built and rebuilt and rebuilt until my last breath. I'll be that dreamer. Split between realities of nighttime freedom and daylight structure, conjuring, manifesting, creating in my sleep, and those dreams with the life of accomplishment at their foundation see themselves into tangible representations, bridges designed to keep building. From them comes the strength to maintain what needs to be done, to see fruition of plans and work ready to be completed in their own good time. It doesn't end. It can't. From the dream to the reality, each plan laid in the threads of memories, triggered by premonitions of things to come. Each waking moment, an opportunity to create what comes in the form of visions of a mind at peace. From where the undeniable takes root to turn what I believe, what we believe into the physical. People Call me a dreamer. Let them see what my dreams bring. There are those who would speak of their dreams as an unrealistic anomaly. Speaking of them doesn't give them the same life that doing them breathes from them. Dreams need life. To be moved from the air of one day to the hands of those who will mold them into seeds for growth, plant them in the eyes of dreamers who do instead of think, those to whom the rules of impossible don't apply. They call us dreamers. Let them see what our dreams bring. Flora Selva. Hidden in my hand is a rose in bloom that is my mom. 
Flora Selva is her middle name, Flower of the Jungle. She took a cutting from herself and planted me in between the cracks of concrete called New York, where I grew wild and thorny, a prickly thing that did not bloom. A man came by. He gently pulled me out and potted me in the soft, cool earth of a large clay pot to take me to his garden state so I could flourish and bloom. Hidden in my hand is a rose in bud about to bloom. That rose is me, Flor del Concreto, flower of the concrete. universe. You are a never-ending cycle of energy fading away to begin again. You give birth to galaxies of constellations in a single breath, stars burning bright, nurturing bodies of water, bodies of gas and plasma. Oceans wash with the ebb and flow, waves converge at the end of the cosmos. Cosmically speaking, you are the light in the tunnel after light has been lost. You are the shadow that sits behind the sun. You are the sky. You are the moon. And you remind us of our minute reality. You take pleasure in the human experience, the life cycle, the divine, the enlightened. As you take, you give. As you destroy, you create. As above, so below. Blessed be.